look for inspiration is kind of in the macro and micro and the place where words end and the gray area begins and things start becoming more difficult to explain. Working with other artists is especially interesting because everybody has their own little cooked up boiled formula that they've uh, developed. You know, it takes you outside of your own uh, head and in, inside of another another person's headspace of how they how they like to work and approach a piece. Mayhem, craziness, the end of the world, the beginning of the world, the remembrance of this world. This has just been a nightmare, a beautiful experience. When you work with somebody, you kind of get, you know, everybody has their own kind of formula set. But then when you step into another school, because like I painted with the Barnstormers, that's pretty much been the clique I painted with for 10 years. And I learned, I've grown accustomed to certain ways of graphic painting and cutting and, and coming back with transparencies and stuff like that, cutting in and cutting out, uh, layered painting, more of an opacity to it. Now I've been kind of getting more into the crystalline, more into the transparent and translucent. So stepping into this arena, into Mario's school, which is like, he's got, He's got a crew and a school of his his own peers too. And it's crazy, it's like us on some like ethereal shit, which is drawn, drew me to his work to begin with, because this shit, I was like, this nigga either takes like five micro dots of uh, mess a day, or he's just a complete fucking asshole and genius. Well, he's, he's both of those, but you figure out which ones he is. Uh, my style of painting is kind of a uh, loose, abstract, it has abstract qualities to it. I don't usually paint with a plan. I kind of let, let it unfold and reveal itself as the painting goes on. We work in the geometric world, in the sacred geometry world, so that was a blessing. That was a marriage right there. My composition is based upon sacred geometry and the shapes by which I create my sculptures or spaceships or letters. And he, of course, was, was complimenting that with his, his brand of composition. And it's fucking amazing how he gets all the geometric niceties and nuances and, and like spot on in certain areas which are harmonious to my kind of chaotic flux and line work. So they complement each other. They, they, they lend to each other in that sense. Metatron, which I bring him up a lot. He is the voice of God in the, in the sense that he takes on all the aspects of God, all the manifestations. He's kind of like a vehicle for a homeboy. So he's like coming into a primordial earth or another orb. So that's kind of like the two realms clashing together or merging or rippling through a fabric in the universe. This, this entity comes in and manifests itself on this dimension that he's entering planting his seeds. And I would like make references to kind of like Renaissance painting and shit, like uh, cherubs and shit. Like, you know, you see cherubs and like all these angelic hosts and figures that you see Michelangelo and all the rest, Leonardo used to paint in their paintings and stuff. So I like an allegory to those paintings, those Catholic kind of uh, saintly paintings, but with a more alien celestial kind of inj in injection. The way I see saints, I would see a saint, the way I would see a god, the way I would see a holy host, is this is my manifestation of that. And as far as um, Mars is in his most surreal form of God. We're both talking God here. You know, we're both talking about creation and destruction at the same time. So I mean, it's like, I think it's, I think it's fucking dope, actually. Mm -hmm. 